In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how you can get started coding. Coding is a really hot skill to have nowadays, so in this video, I'm gonna be giving you some resources and some strategies that you can employ into your life to be able to learn coding. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's McKay, if you're new around here, and on this channel, we talk about data analytics, coding, and all the different tech tools and tips that you can use to better enhance your skills. And in this video, like I mentioned, we're gonna be talking about some of the ways that you can get started with coding. And I like to think of coding really being in, you know, kind of three steps. The first one being discovery, the second one being implementation, and the third one being progress. And if you're anything like me, learning how to actually code and finding resources to code is a really big issue and there's just so much information out there that with this video, you're gonna know all the different steps and the different tools that you can use to get started coding. So let's dive into these three steps that I mentioned. We'll start with the discovery phase. In the discovery phase or stage of learning how to code, you really need to be asking yourself a couple of questions. First, you need to be asking, okay, why do I wanna to learn to code? Is it something that I need to do for work? Am I wanting to work on a startup? Do I have an idea that I wanna code? Am I just looking to be more employable? Really, there's a lot of different answers to these questions and there's a lot of different routes you can go. Another thing that you need to ask yourself is based off that question, what language are you going to actually learn? In coding, there's a lot of different programming languages where you can essentially learn different languages that do different things that help you achieve different tasks. There's kind of a basis that I like to use and I like to just tell everyone that if they're just learning to code, that they learn Python, just because Python is broadly used in a lot of different fields, and it's easily transferable over to different languages if you wanna get into more advanced languages. But for example, if you're planning on just becoming like an iOS developer, then you're probably gonna to want to learn Swift, which is Apple's native language that they use to create all their apps. Maybe you're just interested in doing something with databases, so maybe SQL or SQL, as some like to call it, is the language that you wanna learn. Maybe you just wanna do front-end web development, so you're just gonna learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript. So there's a lot of different things that you can learn about, and what I do recommend is that you figure out, one, what you wanna do with coding, and two, what languages you're gonna learn. This is really kind of the discovery phase and discovering, okay, what I wanna do, what I'm going to do, and then how to implement it, what resources, there's a lot of good resources out there. I recommend either just starting with YouTube and just Googling, you know, Python tutorial, or sorry, YouTubing Python tutorial. And that will give you a lot of great tutorials, and a lot of free stuff. If you want more of a paid option, then I would recommend doing a Udemy course. Udemy offers a ton of great courses. They're usually on sale about 24 seven. And Udemy is just great. That's where I kind of got started. So Udemy is a great platform for you pay a little bit, but you get it in a much more structured format. Okay, so the next stage kind of in learning how to code is the implementation stage. And this is where you are going to start actually coding and implementing, practicing, and starting to develop your skill set. So as well, there's a couple of things that you need to ask yourself here. One, how often are you gonna actually practice coding? Is this something that you're gonna be doing every single day? Or is it something that you're only gonna dedicate maybe like an hour a week or an hour every other day? So this is something that you really need to focus in on and kind of set some goals. You need to set some goals of, okay, this is, what I want to learn and then a timetable of, you know, how long I want to take to learn it. Because really you can learn how to code and you can be comfortable with coding. I've seen a lot of people learn how to code anywhere between three to six, nine months. So really depending on your goals and how much you want to attack it, is really going to help you help in the development of your skill set. What I do recommend in this phase is that you are one, consistent, and number two, patient. So for example, if you're learning Python, Python obviously isn't the easiest language, but it's not the hardest language out there. But by just coding in general just isn't easy. So being consistent is going to help you one, develop your skills faster, and two, being consistent is going to help you build good habits for coding and being able to combine consistency with being patient 
of learning a programming language is going to help you tremendously in the future. One thing that a lot of people get caught up on when they're learning how to code is they once start a course and then they do the course and then they don't really know where to go next. So if you're able to be consistent and just kind of say, okay, once I finish this course and have a game plan of what you're gonna do after that and just remain consistent in everything, then you're really gonna be better off than those who just kind of do a course and then kind of take a break forever and then never go back and then they have to restart from ground zero. So really just being consistent is the best part and really the most key part of this phase. So number three is actually the progression phase and the progression phase is really important because a lot of people, what they do is they get stuck in something called the tutorial death trap or tutorial hell as a lot of people like to call it. And what this is, is you are just doing a bunch of tutorials and tutorial and tutorial, and you're not really advancing your skills. You're just doing a tutorial on the same thing. Maybe you're jumping from tutorial to tutorial and you're not really progressing in your skills. This is where a lot of people get stuck in kind of coding. So what I recommend is after you have done maybe one tutorial of you've learned or you've learned the basics of coding that you start working on projects. So projects really are the key to developing your skill set and going from, you know, your grandma who can't code to Elon Musk status. So being able to do projects is really gonna help you advance your skills. So there's a lot of different projects that you can actually do. I always recommend that you do something you're interested in. So if you're interested in finance, do something around stocks. If you're interested, you know, in sports, do something around sports. If you're interested in, I don't know, cryptocurrencies and do something in Bitcoin. So there's a lot of different things you can do around coding and they don't have to be like super complicated. Either. You don't have to go build like a big web app, but just being able to do a project, then you can add that to your portfolio and it makes you a lot more employable that people have seen you've been able to work on and create projects and solve problems. And then once you've done that, just, as, just again, just remaining consistent and being patient is going to help you in the long run. So just to recap on the three steps of learning how to code, there is the discovery, the implementation, and the progress or the progression stage. And really what you wanna be doing is finding good resources such as YouTube, Udemy, asking yourself what you wanna learn, why you wanna learn it. And then after that, you're just practicing and practicing and practicing each day. And then after you're comfortable with the basics, you go into the progression phase where you're actually creating projects that are going to benefit you and help you develop your skill set. So that's it for this video. If you liked this video, be sure to check the playlist right here that only has some other cool topics on coding. And that's it for this one. Thanks guys, I'll catch you in the next one.